I'd like to introduce the National Institute for Health Research, the NIHR Health Informatics Collaborative. This was a challenge from our Chief Medical Officer, Dame Sally Davis, to our five big biomedical research centres at University College London Hospital, Oxford, Cambridge, Imperial College and King's College. The question was simple. Could we utilise the enormous potential of the routine data that we collect in the NHS every day to improve opportunities to deliver better patient outcomes and also opportunities for research. The NHS is unique. It is one of the few healthcare systems in the world whereby almost all patients access that system for all of their healthcare. This is a wealth of untapped data. If we could use this data by sharing it in a protected way across organizations, this would give us an unrivaled opportunity to do world-class research and also learn more about the factors that drive improvements in patient outcomes. So this is the real challenge of the Health Informatics Collaborative. This is Mary. Mary is in critical care. She's relying on us to save her life, to help her make a full recovery, to give her the best possible quality of life once she leaves us. But something's holding us back. We simply don't have all the information we need to advise Mary or make the best informed choices on her behalf. We don't know, for example, what might happen to her after she leaves critical care. That lack of data could sometimes make the difference between life and death. Yet it is out there. It's spread around. But it's there, just waiting to be brought together and shared. What if we could harness the power of all this data? What if we could use it to improve things for Mary and for all the other patients in our critical care centres? It's not that easy, of course. There are natural worries about patient confidentiality, potential leaks of sensitive information, damage to reputations. So what's the answer? Just carry on as we are? Well, no. The National Institute for Health Research and Health Informatics Collaboration Program, composed of five NHS trusts, with the largest BRCs, is pioneering a groundbreaking, highly secure new way of gathering and sharing this critical data. It's called Safe Haven, and it resides at University College London. It fully satisfies the requirements of NHS information governance, meeting high standards for data security and anonymization. The data leaving the NHS trusts is still patient identifiable. It has to be, to link it effectively to other episodes and data sets for the fullest possible picture, just like the data already provided to the ICN-ARC. But it's protected by NHS encryption protocols on transfer. It's pseudonymized as soon as it lands in the safe haven, and the key to reverse this is held securely in the safe haven. It's stored, processed and managed within the security of the system. Only a select few individuals are allowed viewing and distribution access. No one is allowed to email, copy or burn. Individual privacy is fully respected and protected throughout. Merging the vital information from NHS trusts with other long-term outcome and episode data means we can build up a vastly better picture of our patients. We can save more lives. We can save more people unnecessary pain and suffering with better treatment and therapies. We can give clinicians and patients more accurate information for more informed choices. We can help to improve the design and targeting of clinical trials using a wider base of data and getting up-to-date results to NHS communities and the academic world. We can help with service planning. We can make a direct impact on health and healthcare in the UK doing our best for Mary and all our other critical care patients. And isn't that ultimately what we're all about?